under dispute. The Chime Sol story serves as a historical example of a disagreement being solved with understanding and cultural respect. Sometimes, because we are at Peace Park, because we celebrate cultural awareness, because we encourage the respect of different perspectives, it is worth it to us to look at the boundaries that separate us as a society today. These lines of separation can run along ethnicity, nationality, age, gender, or sexual orientation. The way the turbulent, murky waters of the untamed, shifting Rio Grande led to confusion and hostility in the aftermath of a big flood, the lines we draw on the ground between us and today often lead to distrust, antagonism, and discrimination. On June 28, 1969, the Stonewall riots took place in Greenwich Village in New York City. These were a series of violent demonstrations in response to a police raid of the Stonewall Inn. It is considered the first time in U.S. history that gay Americans stood up to government-sanctioned harassment and persecution of sexual minorities. This was the tipping point that initiated the gay rights movement around the country and across the world. Any progress we have made as a society today in ensuring equal rights for LGBT citizens was made possible by the marginalized patrons of a New York City gay bar in 1969, standing up and saying, enough is enough when it came to lawful oppression. That is why the month of June is designated by this country as Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Pride Month. <laughs> to quote a memorandum by the U.S. Department of the Interior, which oversees the National Park Service, during this period we celebrate the contributions that LGBT Americans have made to our great nation and reflect on the challenges of ensuring full equality for all Americans. As stated in the 2012 Presidential Proclamation, LGBT Americans and their allies have achieved what once seemed inconceivable. This month, we reflect on our enduring legacy, celebrate the movement that has made progress possible, and recommit to securing the fullest blessings of freedom for all Americans. The President, the Department of the Interior, the National Park Service, and Chamisal National Memorial stand in support of LGBT citizens. Here in El Paso, our borderland community should do the same. Some might ask, why have a month for gay pride? There is no straight pride month. I would counter that every month is straight pride month, meaning that for many gay people, many aspects of society still impose shame and guilt. Earlier this month, Brandon Elisades, a 16-year-old sophomore at Andrews High School, could no longer bear being taunted and bullied at school for being gay. He internalized the cruelty and hatred that were delivered to him by, as jokes by his classmates. Brandon saw no way out. As a community, we should ask ourselves if we could do more to help kids like Brandon. We should encourage our children our elders and each other to be tolerant and accepting of others in spite of differences in nationality, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or religion. Chinese National Memorial believes that when we share and appreciate each other's culture and perspective, we learn more about the world and are inclined to live cooperatively and peacefully. This is even more relevant when we as individuals decide to stand in solidarity with our gay brothers and sisters. Thank you. And with that, I just want to point out that Chamisal National Memorial also stands in solidarity with the other 397 National Park sites, remembering Nick Hall, who died on Thursday night in Mount Rainier in the line of duty which is why you'll notice our flags flying half-mast. Thank you.